Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to our channel. And today we are going to look at this question which states that a solid is made up of a conical frustrum and a hemispherical top as shown in the figure below. The dimensions are indicated in the figure. Now this is now the solid that, that they are giving us. Then you are told A, find the area of the circular base. Now, which one now is the circular base between this and this? So our circular base is this one. And this circular, for us to get the circular base, we are supposed to find the area of a circle. And we get area of a circle as by R squared. By, we can take as 22 over 7 for our case. Also, you can use 3.142. Therefore, by as 22 over 7, multiply by R, which is 4.2, 4.2, multiply by 4.2. In this, then 22 over 7 times 4.2 4 times 4.2, then we say by 7, 1, by 7, 0 0.6. Then calculate 22, 22 times 0 0.6 times 4.2 and this we get 55.44 centimeter squared then let us go now to be in part b we are told find the area of the hemispherical surface the area of hemisphere is 2 by r squared in this case now the top part is our hemispherical part and therefore our radius is 3.5. Therefore our area will be 2 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by r squared which is 3.5 times 3.5 by 7 1 by 7 0 0.5. Then let us calculate then we say 2 times 22 times 0 0.5 times 3.5, we get 77 centimeter squared as our area of hemisphere. We find the surface area of the frustrum. The frustrum here we were given, the circular part here, and here now that's another, the top part of the circular, which is 3.5 uh, centimeter as radius and the 4.2 as radius here. And we are given here slant height, 8. Then if we draw here, our frustrum, which is now 4.2 centimeter, and here 3.5. We were given our slant height from here up to here as 8 centimeter. Then let us complete now this frustrum by joining another dotted line to form a cone L and let us say here as X therefore we are going to use now similarity whereby we are going to say the bigger length the bigger slant height over the smaller slant height is equals to the larger radius over smaller radius the bigger slant height is X plus 8 we get X plus 8 divided by the smaller slant height, which is x, is equals to the larger radius, the larger radius, which is 4.2, over smaller radius, which is 3.5. Then let us cross multiply. We say x times 4.2, we get 4.2x is equals to 3.5, into x plus 8. Then we say the 4.2 x is equal to 3.5 times x, we get 3.5 x plus 3.5 times 8, we get 28. Then let us take another like terms together and we take 3.5 to this side. 4.2 x minus 3.5 x is equals to 28 
4.2x minus 3.5x, you get 0 0.7x is equals to 28 over 0 0.7 over 0 0.7. 0 0.7, 0 0.7. X is equals to 28 divided by 0 0.7. You get 40 centimeter. Then let us find this X is a smaller slant height, which is L is 40. Then the bigger slant height is X plus 40. X plus 8 is X plus 8, which is 48. To get now the area of the first term, surface area is by RL minus by RL. By RL, this R is a larger radius and this L is a larger slant height. While this L is a smaller radius and this L is a smaller slant height. In this case, we are going to say 22 over 7 multiplied by the larger R, which is 4.2, multiplied by 48, which is now the largest slant height, minus 22 over 7, multiply by the smaller radius, which is 3.5, multiply by 40. Then we say by 7, 1, by 7, 0 0.6, then we said here, 22 times 0 0.6 times 4.8 times 48 minus by 7 1 by 7 0 0.5 then we say 22 times 0 0.5 times 40 then if you say 22 multiplied by 0 0.6 multiplied by 48 you get 633.6 minus, if you say 22, over 22 times 0 0.5 times 40, you get 440. And you subtract 633.6 minus 444, we get 193.6 centimeter square. And that is the surface area of the first trap. Now, to part D, find the total area of the solid. This solid comprises of hemisphere, frustrum, and the circular base. Therefore, the total area, the total area is equal to the area of the hemisphere, the area of the hemisphere, plus the area of the frustrum, plus the area of the circular base. The area of hemisphere, we get 77. The area of the frustrum is 193.6 plus the area of a circular part, 55.44. And in total, we get 326.04 centimeter squared. And that is how you are supposed to find that question. Thank you very much and welcome all.